Welcome back to The Breakfast. Uh, we've had a very, very interesting uh, uh, time so far with our conversations. Now it's time to move into an entirely different direction. Today, in honor of one of the most Twitter-savvy presidents of all time, Bookie November, our in-house social media manager, will be sharing with us five of our favorite uh, Trump pre-2020 election tweets. Welcome to The Breakfast, Bookie. Pleasure to have you here. All right, go right ahead. Bring us up to speed. Okay, yeah. So, like you said, I will be sharing five of my favorite pre-election tweets from Donald Trump. He's, of course, social media's one of social media's favorite president. And then these tweets are not just my tweets. The tweets that I like, they're actually very popular on social media. Yeah. And they're actually not random. They're categorized. You get So, it's not like just tweets. Are we, I, 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 I have, understand I we'll be dancing right. a bit. I, yeah. I have my favorite <laughs> really? Trump, I have my Trump <laughs> tweet, and I hope that it makes this list. Ah, let's see, let's better. see, let's see. Okay, so first off is the dance. Yeah. Okay. For those who follow the election through and through, you'd see he actually realized that Trump has a dance style. He goes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's, that's my guy right there. That's right. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, just like that. Yeah. I think it feels like a child just grooving, you know? Just grooving, jelly. Don't hurt yourself. Just no, go actually, easy. Actually, easy. actually, easy. actually smile every time I see him do that. And I'm like, this is mad. I don't know what this is. is. I don't know what this is. He's moving his body. Yeah, calmly, you know? <laughs> exactly. So, and he what, has his what, 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 <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Dance Didn't you guys shaku Every time I look Didn't at it. Zanku? Let the guy dance. He's dance. <laughs> just, I mean, just, I, the, the man has his moments. We must give it yeah, to him. Does. Absolutely. Yeah, he does. And then, of course, the, vote, the, the tweet went with vote, vote, vote. Of course, there was no caption to that. I mean, he couldn't have tweeted, I dance. I mean, it was vote, vote, vote. Yeah, but then the dance was catchy as, you know, as you can get. And then next up is the one I categorized as nicknames, of course. Yes. So um, this one was also from the 3rd of November. And um, he tweeted, a vote for sleepy Joe Biden is a vote to give control of the government over to globalists, communists, socialists, and wealthy liberal hypocrites who want to silence, censor, cancel, and punish you. Get out and vote. Hashtag MAGA tomorrow. Now, this one focuses on the nicknames he gives to people. So there's sleepy... Sleepy Joe. There's uh, Crazy Joe. It's Crooked Hillary. There's, there's, there's Crooked Hillary, of course. <laughs> <laughs> there's Crazy Bernie. I think everybody practically is crazy with Jonas from. There's Crooked Hillary. There's Heartless Hillary. And I think there was one point I saw, saw, I saw one about um, Bill Clinton. I think it was Wild Bill or something. Wild Bill or something. He just gives nicknames to his people. Like, I feel like it, it helps him remember them better when he adds nicknames <laughs> to their names, yeah? So that's category number two. Then we're going to move on to the third one. This one is about fake news. And then he says, Joe Biden called me George yesterday. Um, couldn't remember my name. Got some help from the anchor to get him through the interview. The fake news cartel is working overtime to cover it up truthfully, I didn't see that video. Well, I think when he says fake news cartel, we already know the fake news people. CNN is definitely at the top of that list, followed by other um, news outlets that are not Fox News. So I didn't see the video where um, Joe Biden called him um, the, the wrong name. Called him George. Yeah. So, mm, I mean, yeah. If I didn't see it and he said it happened, then, hey, there's no smoke without fire. You can't fire. find but it anywhere on the internet. Exactly. Internet. You get... So, yes. He has a thing with fake news media if it's not Fox News. I think news. he actually popularized even, the term. Um, he <laughs> gave it more yeah, prominence yeah, 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 yeah. when he kept saying fake news, fake news. There was a period exactly. where almost every tweet from Donald Trump is fake, fake news. news. I think, exactly. I think he generally, he generally um, has that attitude towards anything that doesn't go in his favor. Because at some point, you know, he also started to attack uh, Fox News. Um, for giving Joe Biden airtime and for you oh, know, yeah. showing him on their screens and all of that. I, I saw an interview where he basically was calling out the anchors and saying, you're doing such a terrible job <laughs> live on air. Um, <laughs> so once it's not going in his favor, he automatically either tags you fake news, give you a uh, hashtag or, you know, just 
continues to bash you. Okay, so I don't, I don't care what anybody says. Donald Trump is still one of social media's favorite presidents. Yes, he like, is. It, 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 it gives it's some natural. content. You know, yes, there's always is. something to look forward to with Donald Trump. Okay, next up is, next up are tweets criticizing Joe Biden. Of course, I could only pick one because we're pressed yeah. for time. But then, this one he tweeted on the 30th of October um, during the campaign in Wisconsin. And he said, uh, he didn't win Wisconsin, by the way, so yeah. So he said, <laughs> one of the most important issues is law and order. Biden stands with the, ri with the rioters and looters. I stand with heroes and law enforcement. If Biden wins, the rioters in the streets will be running your federal government. No city, no family, and no community will be safe. Vote hashtag MAGA. Now, this tweet just basically he was trying to appeal to them basically to say oh um, vote me because biden blah 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 but then the irony of it is he still lost in wisconsin and i'm like why didn't you guys believe him i mean he came to you he poured his heart out he had literally told you what the case would be if you didn't vote by but i guess people had different glasses to look through anyway yes so finally uh and this one was of course criticizing social media mm -hmm. and then he goes um this one was from 27th of july before the campaign went into full gear of course and he criticized twitter for portraying in portraying him in um negative light basically so during that time there were two hashtags that were trending that was in hashtag the president is a crybaby and hashtag trump thick, thin skin so I thought we Nigerians just knew how to bring hashtags, you know. But then <laughs> these guys actually blew my mind with hashtag the president is a crybaby. I'm like, come on, <laughs> who does that? <laughs> yeah. And you don't see them shouting social media bill in the US, by the way. You don't see them trying to freeze people's accounts for tweeting these things, by the way. I mean, I just have to do that quick segue. Okay. Yeah. And then he went on to say, um, so disgusting to watch Twitter's so-called trending. By this, he meant the trend map on Twitter. It was, there was nothing to watch. It was just you reading stuff. But yeah. So disgusting to watch Twitter's so-called trending, where so many trends are about me, and never a good one. They look for anything they can find, make it as bad as possible, blow it up, trying to make it trend. Really ridiculous, illegal, and of course, very unfair. He likes, okay, let me add mine. He likes exclamation marks. Absolutely. He likes to use capital letters. <laughs> yeah, he's horrible. Really, just to show how, how angry or upset he is about it. He is quite an expressive man. Um, you hate him or like him. I said we got yeah. entertained every day. Well, Sarge, please don't tell me your favorite tweet was No, it wasn't here. What My was favorite, it if you're talking cover cover thing. Co cover that, that was, <laughs> that's the most popular, that's... Very, very likely most popular Trump tweet. And this was in 2016, I believe. Yeah, it wasn't. It, it didn't fall into my pre-election category because I just tried yeah. to choose tweets from... But I don't think there's anyone that would be more confusing than that because even <laughs> till now, we still don't know what Kobe fame means. It was, it was a, a typo, typo that became a thing, yeah. basically. Yeah. Typo can put you in trouble. Exactly. It can. Yeah, All right, you two can thoughts. join the conversation. Uh, you can do that by following us on all our social media platforms, that is... Um, at Plus TV Africa, that's the handle you should find us on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, follow the topics that we share daily. You can do that as well on Instagram using the hashtag Plus TV Africa. You can also send your comments and opinions to us on WhatsApp. Uh, that's 090 and uh, we'll share them here on the show. Exactly. Um, before I say thank you very much, uh, Buki, for giving us, making us laugh uh, yeah, this was, morning. I want to say, you talked about looking at things from different glasses. Yeah. I'll just quickly say, I love your frame. I said well, it behind the camera <laughs> now. I'm saying it. I mean, thank you, thank you. That's our start. <laughs> Thanks for coming <laughs> on The Breakfast. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.